Hey, this is Jeff with the Freethinker House. We just got back from Buchanan's and we just spent $400 on a ton of herbs and edible flowers and beautiful smelling flowers. Thanks to the wonderful Suzanne Eberhard over here. She donated 412 bucks, I think it came to. She, she originally said 200 and then she got kind of a shock when she got to the got to the counter but she was she was piling on the flowers it wasn't like we we're twisting her arm um, yeah we've got milkweed beneficial for the monarchs we're gonna have a, a trellis uh, so this whole arch could be covered in what was the plant called clitori or something like that Pea vine, okay, that's that's the non-sexual name for it. Uh, uh, this is our canyon daisy. We have pansies. Edible, Edible flowers, yeah, absolutely. We have some sage over here and more milkweed. And that's what we've been working on the past few days. But I'd like to take you around to the medicine wheel that we're working on because this is where the bulk of the herbs are gonna go. So, after some debate of, over where the medicine wheel is gonna go, we've, we've settled at this spot. It's 10 foot uh, in diameter, and it's just gonna be chock full of our rosemary, sages, uh, just all sorts of wonderful, beneficial medicine. Maybe with a bird bath in the middle, or something. Um, the next plot is to clear all this trash. There's actually going to be a lot of useful stuff. I'm, I'm fairly sure something like this can be broken down and made into like shelving racks for microgreens or our starter plants. And. And we have, we have fire ants. I've, I've had a few bites from fire ants this past week, but compost is burning along steadily or simmering along steadily. It was, it was about a foot higher and it's, it's collapsed, which shows it's, the heat's in there getting to work. We're almost done with this second bed and we have a bunch of lettuce and mizuna, kale to go in here. We, just, we need an HFT flag. For we need an HFT or some sort of some sort of beautiful agorist thing. And in here, I'm not sure if you can see the light, but we have these awesome trellises, which will we will grow perhaps peas, maybe something else that that vines, something edible. So that's uh, our garden update. Hey everyone, what's up, it's Derek. I'm here at the Freethinker House and I wanna to talk to you guys about what we're planning to do with this house and what we plan to do through Patreon. So we've been here two weeks now and we've received about $700, maybe even more uh, worth of donations. We got a $300 donation from Alex Macius. Thank you, Alex. Uh, we also got a couple hundred dollars worth of tools donated to us. And then thanks to our lovely friend who is somewhere around here has been helping out. She donated $400 worth of plants, flowers, and uh, other tools and things that we're gonna need here. Uh, and we've just shown you an update of what the garden's looking like right now. I'm standing in the middle of the future medicine wheel. And we're really excited about the potential of this place. And once we get a lot of it cleaned up, how much we can do, what kind of community events we can host here, and how we can show you guys how to live a more productive, rewarding, fulfilling, free and independent lifestyle that will also enrich you through growing good organic, healthy food, learning new skills, connecting to your community and your neighborhood. So we wanna do all this and we want your support and a number of ways. First off, if you guys would like to you know, follow everything we're doing, you can go to Facebook, you can find the Freethinker House and give that a like, a follow. You can also subscribe to the Houston Freethinkers YouTube channel or the Conscious Resistance. Both channels will have all the video updates as well as the Facebook page. 
Uh, you can also, if you have donations in the form of trimmings and clippings of plants, herbs, uh, any plants that you, you know, starter plants that you'd like to send our way or trees or things that you just don't have the room for, we have plenty of space here and you could come put it in the community garden and tend to it yourself and help out as well and, you know, we'll grow it here. So that's one way, you know, social media following, supporting all those things are great, shares and stuff, getting people to recognize that there's this project going on, that the Freethinker House is existing here in Houston, Texas. Another way, of course, is the Patreon account that I mentioned. Uh, for those of you who are new to Patreon, it's essentially an account that lets you sign up to support us on a monthly basis. You can do this for as little as $1 a month and up to as much, you know, as, as much as you choose. But we just started this account basically to give you more of a behind the scenes look at what we're going to be doing here at the Freethinker House. All of the regular updates will be public and available to everyone, but there may be some more Skillshare type videos and behind the scenes interviews, maybe with people who are experts in different fields that we're researching, like permaculture and aquaponics and local farmers and such. Interesting things that you guys you know, will, will enjoy as you take steps towards becoming more free in your own life. So again, you can give $1, $5. We have different reward levels that include getting access to a private Facebook group where you can talk to the three of us directly and have conversations. Maybe when we're looking for information, we'll ask you guys for advice, or if you have questions, we can provide that. Uh, we're also going to be giving away t-shirts, real exclusive, limited edition t-shirts for the Freethinker House that you guys can check out. And if you're in Houston, some of the rewards include being able to get in to you know, have access to some of the events that we do here. We're going to do open mics, pop-up restaurants, a number of different events, community events that we would like to give you exclusive access for supporting us on Patreon. And there, there's more and more rewards that we're going to be adding on there. Some of our goals are, you know, we want to get this compost going. We want to be able to have a compost community compost collection using bicycles, showing people the power of doing that. We're going to invest into learning more about permaculture, doing worms, vermiculture, and a number of different areas that are, we're, are the goals that we're setting. So you guys can see that and track our progress and see how much, where your money's going directly and how much that money is helping us become more free. So... Please, if, you, if you're interested in that, go to patreon.com slash freethinkerhouse.